at Sheffield Libraries. My name's Laura and this is Rhyme Time number 26. And things are changing. Have you noticed that outside it has got a little bit colder and a little bit wetter and a little bit windier? And that means that we are now going into the autumn season. Summer is gone, no more going to the beach in the sun because we're going into autumn. Um, and autumn is quite exciting for all kinds of reasons. And if you want to learn more about autumn, maybe you could look in a book. That's what I sometimes do when I want to learn something. I had a look at this one. This one is published by Belitha Press. Which is a chrysalis book uh, publisher and I just had a little skim through to see what kinds of things happen in autumn. There's lots of lovely pictures in this, maybe you can find a book with some nice pictures about autumn. I tell you one of the things that happens in autumn is that the leaves on the trees start to change colour and they start to fall off and that's why you will find lots of leaves all over the ground at this time of year. And one of my favourite things to do <laughs> is to go and kick them all up in the air. Don't get to kick things very often, but if there's leaves in the park, you can kick them, can't you? That's quite fun. So I thought that we could have a kicking the leaves verse in our hello song. So it's time to say hello. We will have a wave hello. And then we will have a kicking the leaves. Hello, verse. All right, here we go. Wave your hands. Hello, wave your hands. Hello, wave your hands. Hello, wave your hands. Hello. I'm going to stand up. You will lose my head, but you can see my feet. Here we go. Kicking the leaves, hello, kicking the leaves, hello, kicking the leaves, hello, kicking the leaves, hello. And now we have begun. I have a song about leaves falling down. It has three verses and you can sing it to two different tunes. That's a little bit of information for your grown up. You can sing it to the tune of London Bridge is Falling Down, or you can sing it to the tune of Mary had a little lamb, little lamb, little lamb, whichever you like. I'm going to do London Bridge is Falling Down tune, but the words are about leaves falling off the trees. And the second verse is about the wind blowing them around. And the third verse is about them drifting to the ground. So you get to do some hand movements with this song. All right, here we go. Autumn leaves are falling down, falling down, falling down. Autumn leaves are falling down all around the town. The wind will blow them round and round. Round and round, round and round, the wind will blow them round and round, all around the town. They're drifting gently to the ground, to the ground, to the ground, drifting gently to the ground, all around the town. And that's what the leaves are doing when they fall off the trees. They get blown around, and when they finish being blown around, they drift gently to the ground. I'm having a look in my book about autumn, and something that I've noticed is there's lots of lovely new colours in the trees. Often we sing about leaves that are green, don't we? But in the autumn, you might get more red and orange and brown and even yellow 
leaves. You can see that in your garden, you can see that at the park, and the leaves fall off the trees after they've changed colour. So maybe we can do a song about those colours. How about our bouncing up and down on the tractor song? Because tractors are going to be harvesting the foods on the farms and that's something that happens in the autumn as well. So shall we start with our bouncing up and down on a big red tractor? I'm going to find a red scarf. Here it is. Do you have anything red? You might have some red clothes on. Or you might find a red book in your house or a red cushion. This is a red scarf. Are you ready to bounce? Here we go. Bouncing up and down on a big red tractor. Bouncing up and down on a big red tractor. Bouncing up and down on a big red tractor. Bringing in the hay. Hey! What's another colour of leaves in autumn? How about orange? I'm going to look for an orange scarf. I found one. Do you have anything orange in your house? Maybe you have an orange. One of those that you eat. Oranges are orange. <laughs> are you ready? Bouncing up and down on a big orange tractor. Bouncing up and down on a big orange tractor. Bouncing up and down on a big orange tractor. Bringing in the hay. Hey! <laughs> what other colour do the leaves turn? brown and yellow can't they? I don't have a brown scarf but I have a brown toy. I think the brown toy wants to jump up and down on the tractor. Shall we do that puppy? Okay here we go. Bouncing up and down on a big brown tractor. Bouncing up and down on a big brown tractor. Bouncing up and down on a big brown tractor. Bringing in the hay. Hey! Did you have fun bouncing up and down? We did. Another thing that happens in autumn is that lots of harvesting happens. The farmers collect lots of the food that's been growing in the fields. I think there is a page about that in my autumn book. Let's have a look. Lots of things happen in autumn. Oh, this one's about autumn festivals. Look at that. I think that maybe next week we will do a Halloween theme, shall we? This week it's just generally about autumn. And here is a page about what happens on the farm in the autumn. When they collect all the food, like the apples and the potatoes and things like that. And I was reading a book about gardening and that talks about what, how to grow different foods in your garden. Here's a picture of beans. You know those long stringy green beans or French beans or runner beans? Lots of different types but they grow up like that. The, the plant climbs up and the beans hang off. What other foods are in here? strawberries that's what strawberries look like on the plant oh sweet corn do you have sweet corn at home that's what it's like when it's growing you can have it on the cob corn on the cob or you can have it in a tin so I have found a song about lots of different foods lots of different fruits and vegetables and you might know this one. It's great fun, but it has so many words that I have printed them out for myself to read and I will put the words on the screen for you. Okay, see how many different fruits and vegetables you can spot in this song. It's so much fun. Here we go. Cauliflower was fluffy and cabbage is green. Strawberries sweeter than any I've seen. Beetroots purple and onions white all grow steadily day and night. The apples are ripe, the plums are red, 
the broad beans are sleeping in their blankety bed. That's the first verse and chorus. What's coming next? Blackberries are juicy and rhubarb is sour. Marrows are fattening hour by hour. Gooseberries hairy and lettuce is fat. Radishes round and runner beans flat. The apples are ripe, the plums are red. The broad beans are sleeping in their blankety bed. There's more. <laughs> are you ready? Last verse. Orangey carrots and turnips are cream. Reddening tomatoes that used to be green. Brown potatoes in little heaps. Down in the darkness where the celery sleeps The apples are ripe, the plums are red The broad beans are sleeping in their blankety bed <laughs> I love that song! I really love imagining the broad beans all asleep in their little bed <laughs> So I am on my feet because I have to do an action song that requires jumping. <laughs> Can you make some space? Because you have to jump up. And the reason is that I'm going to sing a song about a scarecrow. And scarecrows are quite autumny because they are in the fields where all the crops have been growing. Okay, so this song has three verses. It's about a dingle dangle scarecrow who comes back in all the choruses and he jumps up. And he has a flippy floppy hat, so you have to go like this with your hair because it's flippy floppy. And then you have to shake your hands like this, and then you have to shake your feet. <sighs> you can see my feet. Ah, my spotty feet. There we are. So, <laughs> even if you can't see them, assume I'm shaking them. All right, you have to shake your feet like that. Right. And I'm going to I've got <laughs> see if I can uh, remember the words. I read them off my sheet. I've got them written down. All right. Are you ready? When all the cows were sleeping and the sun had gone to bed, up jumped the scarecrow and this is what he said. I'm a dingle dangle scarecrow with a flippy floppy hat. I can shake my hands like this. I can Shake my feet like that. <laughs> Verse two. When all the hens were roosting and the moon behind a cloud, up jumped the scarecrow and shouted very loud. I'm a dingle dangle scarecrow with a flippy floppy hat. Shouting very loud. I can shake my hands like this. I can shake my feet like that. Very loud. If that was very loud, what do you think the last verse is going to be? Are you ready? When dogs were in the kennels and doves were in the loft, up jumped the scarecrow and whispered very soft. I'm a dingle dangle scarecrow with the flippy floppy hat. I can shake my hands like this. I can shake my feet like that. <laughs> so now we're at the end of our autumn themed rhyme time and we have sung about lots of different autumny things. We have sung about leaves falling down and the different colours and we've sung about harvesting and food and scarecrows and next week we will do something Halloweeny. Who knows? There may be pumpkins, there may be witches, there may be spiders and ghosts. I don't know. I don't know. Why don't you send me some suggested songs? We will see. So, Puppy and I are going to sing goodbye. It's an autumn themed goodbye because Puppy is brown and I have the red and the orange scarf. Okay, here we go. Goodbye, don't cry, 
Wipe the tear, baby dear, from your eye. Though it's hard to part, I know. It's time, so off we go. Goodbye, don't sigh. There's a silver lining in the sky. Bonsoir, old thing, cheerio, ting, ting. Na boo doo goodbye. Oh, I love the silly sounds at the end of that song. Have a fantastic week. I hope you can get outside in the wet and windy and blowy and leafy weather. And we'll see you next time. Okay, shall we wave goodbye, puppy? Bye.